it's Debbie Doodah here. I haven't been live for a couple of weeks. I just wanted to apologise. I've had so much work. It's fantastic, but it's meant that I haven't had the time to come on here. So I'm just popping on quickly between my clients um, and I'm answering one of the questions that you guys have sent to me, which is how do I create content for a passive income? Um, so I just wanted to address both the content creation and the passive income. So there isn't really any such thing as a passive income. I'm really sorry, guys. If you think that you can just create something once and sell it multiple times and then sit back and do nothing, that's kind of really not how it works. There's very few people who pull that off. And even the people that I think of that are on six, seven, eight figures that have great online courses that have lots of content online they are constantly pushing selling doing lives putting stuff out there sending stuff out to their email list it's a constant thing you're always going to have to be moving and pushing your business forward so this idea of having a totally passive income and not having to do anything anymore is a little bit of a fallacy plus those people who've got to those heights where you know they are raking in lots of money because they've created great content it's taken them years to get there so if you're at the very beginning and you're like how do i make this passive income it's kind of a little bit of a fallacy but there is the thing of making content that you can sell again and again and again online courses membership groups that type of thing and it is a clever way to build your business to think about how do you make um, money while you sleep how can you create one product and sell it to many that doesn't mean that you're not working anymore that means that maybe you're working on different things so once you've created that product what you're then creating working on is the marketing and getting people signing up and big launches or creating a funnel or creating content to kind of move people towards your online course so if that's something that you're thinking about have a think about what does your customer need where can you add value and what can you create do you already provide a service that you can move to an online space can you move the way that you help people the value that you bring into something that people could do by themselves kind of self-directed learning and that's the key to this idea of passive income although it's not passive because then once you've created it you have to keep on marketing it you've got these launches you've got you've got seats to fill you know you've got people to do stuff so that's my answer really quickly on this idea of content creation for passive income. Passive income doesn't exist, but it is a good idea to work out how you could serve many people doing what you do face to face and doing that online. That's my uh, quick tip for Monday. Good luck, everybody. Oh, uh, there's balloons in the background because it's Robin's birthday today. Ha ha. All right. See you later. Bye.